Sons and Daughters of God for July 25th. The reading is entitled, To Stand for Principle Despite Opposition. The scripture reading is taken from Nehemiah 6 verse 3. And I sent messengers unto them, saying, I am doing a great work, so that I cannot come down. Why should the work cease whilst I leave it and come down to you? God has men in reserve, prepared to meet the demand that his work may be preserved from all contaminating influences. God will be honored and glorified. When the Divine Spirit impresses the mind of the man appointed by God as fit for the work, he responds, saying, Here am I, send me. Nehemiah showed himself to be a man whom God could use to put down false principles, and to restore heaven-born principles, and God honored him. The Lord will use in his work men who are as true as steel to principle, who will not be swayed by the sophistries of those who have lost their spiritual eyesight. Nehemiah was chosen by God because he was willing to cooperate with the Lord as a restorer. Falsehood and intrigue were used to pervert his integrity, but he would not be bribed. He refused to be corrupted by the devices of unprincipled men who had been hired to do an evil work. He would not allow them to intimidate him into following a cowardly course. When he saw wrong principles being acted upon, he did not stand by as an onlooker and by his silence give consent. He did not leave the people to conclude that he was standing on the wrong side. He took a firm, unyielding stand for the right. He would not lend one jot of influence to the perversion of the principles that God has established. We shall meet with opposition of every description, as did the builders of the walls of Jerusalem. But if we will watch and work and pray as they did, God will fight our battles for us and give us precious victories. We should move forward with unwavering confidence, believing that God will give his truth great and precious victories. Relying upon Jesus, we shall carry a convincing power with us that we have the truth. Thank you for listening.